Hi guys, so today we're doing things a little, little differently. It's my friend's birthday and I'm taking a platter to her. A Nigerian, a typical Nigerian platter, okay? And I thought I'll show you the process of making this Nigerian um, style platter, okay? So what I have here is some chicken and I put in my ginger garlic paste. This is Cameroon pepper. Now this is hot, so you want to be careful, all right? And I'm putting some seasoning cubes or powder. And oh, you should know that I rinsed my chicken thoroughly and I dried it first because you do not want to be grilling wet chicken. I'm adding some paprika powder to this, all right? And I'm also going to be adding ketchup. Okay, some dried thyme, some salt, this is getting so good, not too much because the seasoning powder already contains salt. I'm also adding white pepper and some dried parsley. To bind everything together, I'm going to add in some cooking oil so guys if this is your first time to my channel I'm saying a really warm welcome to you if you're yet to subscribe please hit that subscribe button and to all my people my regulars my oldies <laughs> you know how we do here thank you for always sticking by me and welcome so this is if it's kitchen and you're welcome okay So I'm done seasoning my chicken. If you have the time, you can leave it to marinate, but right now I do not have the time. I made some incisions into the chicken just before I seasoned it. This will allow the seasonings penetrate, okay? So once I'm done, I'm going to put this into my air fryer and I'm going to grill this. All right, so I've got fish as well fish is going to be part of the platter and um this is hick fish which has been cleaned and um, i've removed all the unwanted parts of it i'm just going to go ahead to season it and this is the way i season this fish some ginger garlic paste here as well and for those of you who are new to my channel my ginger garlic paste is just a blend of ginger and garlic this is a total lifesaver in the kitchen it saves me tons and tons of time trust me so i've just put some in there i'm also putting in some cameroon pepper now this pepper is really hot oh my gosh i forgot to make some incisions on the fish so that it will enter well okay so i'm back i forgot to make an incision because this allows the fish you know to be properly seasoned it allows the fish go in especially as it's a big you know piece of fish so that is why it's very important to make those incision okay so i'll just go ahead with my seasoning this is cameroon pepper like i said because we love our heat okay <laughs> i'm also adding some paprika powder okay this goes in some fish seasoning i love this fish seasoning because it contains pretty much everything and I don't need to add a whole lot of seasoning. This, this is very good. And some black pepper for flavor and for some more heat, of course. Yeah, so. And I love a little, I love thyme. It's in thyme for my fish. So a little dried thyme goes a long way. And I'm going to add vegetable oil to bind everything together okay so just some i'm going in with my hand yes i know it's pepper the cameroon pepper is hot but I, I really want every part of the fish to get some of this good good marinade all over it so don't worry i'll be fine <laughs> i do this all the time so i'll be fine okay now make sure 
if you're using the head like I am, you open up all the inside to let the seasonings and the marinade get into it. You want every part of your fish to be nice and flavorful, okay? It's very important. I'm going to be air frying this fish. So once my chicken is done, I'm going to put in the fish. So I'll just leave this, cover it with the cling film and let it, you know, wait. So this is all done. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead to cut my sweet potatoes. All right. And just in case you're wondering what sweet potatoes are, this is what it looks like. Okay. So this has been peeled. The one I have in here has been peeled. I know that there's the orange sweet potato, but this one is the white sweet potato. And um, it's just harder and sweeter than the orange one. Yeah. So this is the one I like to use. And this is the one that is readily available in Nigeria. So it's really hard. So you want to be careful when you're cutting this. And I'm going to cut it into this shape, just like that, okay? Yeah, so this is how I want it. Not too thin and not too thick, all right? So I'm just going to go ahead to cut up all my sweet potatoes. Okay, and so I'm done. It's very important that you put it in water so that the color does not change until you are ready to use the potatoes okay so i'm not ready to fry them yet i'm just going to leave them in this water and move on to the next item if yam is not part of the nigerian platter what exactly are you doing <laughs> so yam is called dundu Okay guys, I'm a little confused now. I thought fried yam in Yoruba language was referred to as or is referred to as dundu, but I'm not sure. So let me know in the comment section if yam, when it's fried, it becomes dundu or let me know what exactly is dundu. Please let me know in the comment section, okay? Anyway, dundu or not though, I'm putting yam in my platter. <laughs> so I'm just going to peel it and cut it. The chicken is all done. Look at it. Look at how beautiful this looks. So I see if you grilled it um, on your charcoal grill. It is so nice and looks beautiful. And trust me, it's going to taste so good. This is one of my tried and tested um, recipe for chicken. I'm going to grill the fish at one or rather air fry the fish at 180 degrees for about 20 minutes then I'll check it and um, add more or less time if it's not done. So you're going to put a lot of oil in your pan because we're going to be deep frying the yam and the sweet potato. So once this is hot we'll go ahead to start frying. So before I salt my yam one thing I like to do is to add some water you know remain some water there and then put some salt and then using the water like just to make sure it's evenly distributed
while the sweet potato is frying, I'm going to go ahead to make the sauce that will accompany all those tasty fried things we're doing, okay? So a little bit of oil, or well, I put some oil in here. Once it gets hot, I'm going to put in my onions and then we'll start the sauce. So the oil is hot enough. I'm going to go in with my onions. Oops. <laughs> and give this a quick stir. So I'm going to add in some ginger garlic paste and give it another quick stir. And then my pepper mix goes in. You saw the blend, just tomatoes, peppers, onions, lots of onions and um, cayenne pepper. Okay. And if you notice, I gave it a rough blend because this is the consistency I want. I don't want it very smooth. So there's still some texture even after it's all done. So I'm going to cover it partially to avoid any splatter and allow this to cook. check on your sauce it's getting there but it's not quite done yet so I'm going to season it now I have here my seasoning cube some curry and some dried thyme so I'm going to cover it partially to allow it keep cooking right so the plantains are nicely done as you can see this this is the most beautiful sight ever. See how beautiful it looks. This is another item that is going to be part of my platter. So this is just corn that I boiled in some salt and water, of course. And I'm going to make it extra special. This corn is really sweet. This is the season, so it tastes really good. But I'm going to make it extra special by putting some butter and parsley this is salted butter which i have mixed with parsley okay fresh parsley i'm just going to rub it all over it look at how it's melting it's going to make this corn extra extra yummy done see how you just make something so simple turn into something extraordinary with just a little touch 